Hi everybody, today's focus, let's see how well Febreze Fabric Antimicrobial Spray removes bacteria from my couch. A couple of weeks ago I posted a video where I just tested different areas around my home to see how much bacteria was just in and around the home. And one spot that really caught my attention as well as the viewer's attention was my couch. My couch had a lot of bacteria on it, way more than I expected it to have. So a few weeks later, I conducted a test where I used my Bissell Spot Cleaner as well as some Lysol spray to see if we could remove some of the bacteria. I'll put a link to that video down below. But today what we're gonna try is we are gonna test out Febreze Fabric Antimicrobial Spray. So this is a sanitizing spray. It just claims to kill bacteria. In order to test how well this spray works, I am gonna take a petri dish just like this guy here. And I'm gonna label it A, B, and C. Then I'll take some sterile swabs and I'll swab areas on my couch. I think what I'll do is two samples from the arm and two samples from the seat. I'll place those samples on B for before. Then I'll sanitize according to Febreze's directions. So it says to sanitize soft surfaces. So from a distance, six to eight inches, spray a spot evenly until damp to kill bacteria. Fabric must remain wet for five minutes. Sounds good. It does have a note though that it says it's effective against Enterobacter aerogenase and Staph aureus. After the five minutes and the couch is dry, I will then sample again the same spots and place that in A for after. Seize my control, I'm not gonna put anything there. This is also a viewer request video where we had fervently Viridian suggest I try this in my bacteria throughout the home video. And Kayla Moore suggested it on a community post. Let's see how well the Febreze antimicrobial spray removes bacteria from my couch. Now for some results. Let's start with sample one from the arm of the chair. This is fantastic. The section label B for before was the sample before I sprayed with the Febreze antimicrobial spray. And you can see plenty of bacteria there, a great sampling of bacteria. And in A for after, we have one tiny little bacterial colony. That's it. The Febreze did an excellent job at removing the bacteria from the arm of my sofa. Let's look at the second sample I took of the arm of the couch. Again, we see a lot of bacteria on the before section. In the after section, we have two tiny bacterial colonies. This again is a fantastic result. It is really great to see the Febreze antimicrobial spray able to remove that much bacteria from my couch. If you like seeing Petri dish results, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and give me that thumbs up. Onto the seat of my couch. So the first sample, Again, same sort of result, lots of bacteria, a beautiful sampling of bacteria before and after we have one bacterial colony. That is absolutely tremendous. And with the second sample, 
the before section is loaded with bacteria and yes this little section here I've been watching this one grow it did originate in the before section and it did migrate over into my after section but ignoring this splotch here for in the after section there are two um, tiny bacterial colonies in the after section of the second swabbing of my seat well, these results are fantastic. I absolutely love it. When I test a product and it claims it can kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria, and it does. Because on this channel, I test products to see if their claims match my real world results. And this one absolutely does. For those interested in any lingering scents, this Febreze does have a light scent. It wasn't too overwhelming for me. If you know, if you watch my videos, you know that sometimes the smells bother me, but this wasn't that bad. However, it has lingered quite a while on that area of my couch. So I can still smell it when I sit on the couch. It is not a bad smell. It's not overpowering. It's not even a chemical smell. It's just a light perfumey scent, almost baby powdery. I know it's kind of a weird scent to describe. I am not good at describing scents, but I'm really glad my viewers suggested I tried this. If there's a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor, put it in the comments section and I'll put it on my viewer request list. Or you can click on my Amazon wish list, which is in the description, or even mail me something. My mailbox address is down in the description. But if you do that, please send me an email so that I know it's from you. I absolutely love testing these products. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.